In this video, we're going to take a look at a small device that we've been using for quite a while here. It's the Finis Tempo Trainer Pro. It's a small electronic device that emits an audible beep with the aim of helping you with your stroke rate. If we take a quick look at the physical features of the Tempo Trainer Pro, it is pretty small, it is pretty light, and it comes with a handy little clip on it. The idea of the clip is that you can clip the trainer to your goggles, or if you're pushing it under your hat, you can clip onto the hat as well. It's a clever little clip and it's detachable. It's clever, if I just detach it, we might be able to get a look at this, in that the end of the clip has, if I just push the clip out, has a little L to it so that it doesn't easily slip off at all. Personally, I dispense with the clip and I just put the tempo trainer and slide it underneath my hat. My hat's pretty tight on my head. Uh, it's not a problem at all. Should you lose the tempo trainer off your goggles or from your hat, it is positively buoyant. That means it floats. Looking now at the front of the trainer, it's really quite simple. The top button is a mode button. You press and hold to scroll through the modes. The bottom two buttons, basically once you've got it switched on, the right hand button puts the numbers up and the left hand button puts the numbers down. To turn the tempo trainer on, the bottom right hand button, it is simply a case move to the side now so you can see it is simply a case of press and hold and on it comes it's actually come on in mode 3 which is the mode that I use it most now mode 3 is a stroke rate mode and at the moment it's set for 60 strokes per minute and you can probably just about hear the little audible beep it's the volume and pitch is perfect because under your swim hat next to your head you can hear it really clearly in the pool, but no one else can. Now, that's beeping once every second, so I would be swimming at a stroke rate of 60 strokes per minute. To adjust that, I simply press the right hand button to bring it up one, bring it up two, left hand button to bring it back down again, and I can adjust the stroke rate. Now, to me, that's the most useful element of the Tempo Pro Trainer. And we're now, without getting into a technical element of this, we're talking about the difference between the rate of your stroke and perhaps the length of your stroke. Are you wanting to slow your stroke down to lengthen it a bit more? Or are you trying to increase that pace, the tempo of your stroke? And this is where I've got to say, you really do need to get a really decent coach to take a look at your stroke and actually get some advice as to what you want best from it. So to change from mode three, I take the top button and I press, hold it for about a second. You'll see number one come up and the num digits for number one, that's mode one. To go to mode two, which I'll talk about first of these, there we go, mode two and the digits for mode two. Now, mode two is designed as a lap timer. So again, this is set for 30. It's in seconds increments, this one. And essentially, that's gonna give me a multiple beep every 30 seconds. So if I'm swimming in a uh, 25 meter pool and I'm working on a two minute per 100 meter pace, then this is set for 30 seconds and it's gonna be, and I want to be hitting my turn every 30 seconds. Now, if you want to adjust that, then simply again with the two bottom buttons, you can move that up from 30 to 31 if you're going to go a bit slower or I can bring it down to 29 seconds. Now, of course, if it's a 25 metre pool, a one second increment is going to give you a difference of four seconds over 100 metres, and that's quite a big gap. So what we have is mode one, and again, if I just try to, if I press and hold, it's going to obviously go from two to mode three first, press and hold, back to mode one. Mode one is again designed as a tempo trainer, but is, I think, best used to give you better increments on lap timing. This gives you your timing to a hundredth of a second. So as it's set there, that's set at 30.25 seconds. And I can now adjust this in increments of one hundredth of a second. So if I want to make that, take that down a bit, I can just, there we go, four, three, two, one, and I can make one hundredth of a second adjustments 
to the Tempo Trainer. Pretty much all that's left now is to show you how to turn the Tempo Trainer off. It's back to the bottom buttons, both together, press and hold, simple as that. There we have it, the Finis Tempo Trainer Pro. At Real Life Reviews, we think it's a seriously useful training tool, obviously in conjunction with a good coach. If you would like to buy this, well, we have a link to Wiggle in the description down below, and yes, Real Life Reviews gets a small percentage of what you spend, and that goes towards helping the channel stay going. If you've liked the video, please do give it the thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, then just click on the little round picture down there. If you want to see another great product from Finis, well, have a look at the video up there on their agility paddle. Otherwise, why not pop along to the website as well. Thank you for watching.